Hello and welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Hello YouTubers, hello Facebookers, hello members of the human race and anyone else that's dropped in today. Here's The Geek's Handbag, let me dive in and see what, ooh, been looking for those, see what I've got. It is this, it is The Prisoner. Uh, this is the Blu-ray box set of the TV series, but I'll, I'll have a look at that in just a sec. Um, the Prisoner is a TV series uh, that was pretty much dreamt up by Patrick McGowan who is the main star of the show. Uh, he plays a former British agent who resigns from his job. And when he gets back to his house at number one, Buckingham Place, he's gassed. And uh, when he wakes up, he's trapped in this bizarre village, um, which is actually Port Merion in Wales. Uh, just as a side note, if you ever get a chance to go to Port Merion, it's a brilliant place. Uh, I was in my element when I went there a few years ago. It's just mystical, magical, everything you'd imagine. Uh, so yeah, he wakes up in this village where everyone seems to be conforming and is known by a number rather than a name. And uh, he's pretty much up against the character who we know as number two uh, all the time. Who, number two wants to know why he resigned. And uh, number six, as he's now been renamed, wants to know what is going on in this village and, and why do they want to know why he resigned. And he wants to escape and get back to normality and expose what's going on in this, this crazy place. Uh, so that's the sort of main premise for it. Um, there's 17 episodes altogether. Each one's a pretty much self-contained story, uh, but that that under sort of current of uh, underrunning theme is always there of him trying to escape and find answers. Uh, this is the Blu-ray box set, as I say. Um, I I found this a couple of years ago. It's a box set of it, and despite this nice big box, it actually doesn't have that much inside that's different from the regular release. It's got this nice book by Andrew Pixley, um, but you can pick that up anyway. Uh, and then it's just got the standard Blu-ray that you get in the shop. So, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about the box set unless you want the nice big box. Uh, the Blu-ray set itself is excellent. Um, considering this was made, you know, it was broadcast sort of from 1967 to 1968. The picture quality is brilliant. It's, it's beautifully colourful. Uh, it's crisp. The sound quality is brilliant. You know, the, there's a few issues with the dubbing. Uh, when it was originally shown, and these have sort of been amended. Uh, it's, they've just done a really good job remastering it, and it looks and sounds fantastic. Uh, it's a thoroughly entertaining series. I think the more you sort of watch, the more you get into it. Uh, and as I say, it's 17 episodes long, so it's not dragged out. You know, it's just, just sort of nicely done. Uh, the Blu-ray itself's got quite a lot of extras on there. Um, I just finished watching the making of, actually, uh, just to sort of refresh my memory on a few things, and it's a really good documentary it talks about how crazy Patrick McGowan was and how, how difficult it was to work work with um, he clearly sort of knew what he wanted um, from the actors <laughs> in this show and he really pushed them to the limit uh, it, it would seem especially when we get to the penultimate episode which is actually one of my favorite uh, it's pretty much a two-hander between him and Leo McKern it's a fantastic episode but it is intense. I mean, it's just the two of them sort of uh, acting out loads of role play and um, playing mind games with each other to sort of get answers. And it's fantastic. But uh, apparently, according to the documentary, it really pushed uh, poor Leo to the limit. He had some sort of breakdown sort of uh, while filming it and had to have a, a rest before he could carry on. And when you watch the episode, it's not hard to, to believe that. Uh, but it's a, a thoroughly entertaining episode that really, really draws you in, as as do all the episodes. But that particular one is one of my favourites. And then, of course, we get to the last episode, um, and you're wondering, will he confess why he resigned? Will he escape from this crazy place? Um, will he ever find out who number one is? And I, I'm obviously not going to tell you on here. I don't want to ruin this for anyone. But uh, needless to say, the last episode is just pure bonkers it really is it's, it's mad um the series itself is completely relevant today as, as it's ever been it throws up questions that uh, you know we, we ask ourselves like uh, questions about personal freedom who's watching who conformity all these sort of things it really does make you think and and there's a lot of things in the series that are open to interpretation so it does throw out a lot of questions and it leads you to sort of think and ponder on these and find the answers for yourself so uh, again, it, it makes it a very engaging series. Um, just looking at my notes there, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, Rover, which is if anyone tries to escape from the uh, island, uh, they are chased by this giant balloon, uh, which some people might find a bit funny, but actually when you see it suffocating people, 
uh, is actually quite effective and um, and it sort of does give it quite an iconic status and, and in fact that's one word I, I would use for this series it genuinely is iconic it's, it's so many brilliant visuals in there um, and things to be taken from it so there it is the prisoner um, I can only say please uh, sort it out not sort it out but please dig it out uh, please watch a couple of episodes and hopefully you'll get into it and enjoy it and, uh, and watch it and there we have it so there we are the prisoner until the next time, I'll be seeing you and look out for number one.